Hey guys, Andy Hake here with Insulize, and today what we're going to show you is what a common insulation retrofit of a home looks like. The first thing that we are doing is a blower door test, and this allows us to measure the air infiltration rate of the home before we've done any air sealing measures. Whenever we're done, we're going to do a test out, and then that allows us to confirm the exact amount of air infiltration we've permanently eliminated from the home. Right now, the air leakage in the home is about 1100 CFM. Now, the scopes that we're going to, going to be doing here are spray foaming the rim joists down in the basement, air sealing and insulating the attic above, and also installing a series of intake vents up on the roof so that we balance the ventilation up in the attic. What we're doing here now is installing a series of intake vents low down on the roof. We've got one in each corner and one in the middle. This is intended to balance the existing bridge vent, which is an exhaust vent. If a house only has an exhaust vent or too much exhaust, depressurize the attic which results in energy loss and also a higher potential for mold because water vapor from inside the house comes up condenses on the underside of the roof and then you have a mold problem. So by installing these intake vents at the bottom we're going to solve that. Right now we are spray foaming the rim joists. Go ahead Zach. Down in the basement and we're doing this to air seal the perimeter around the bottom of the house and also insulate that. At this point, air will no longer be able to infiltrate at the bottom of the home, and this is also going to seal an access point that things like insects and mice may have been using to get into the house as well. What we're doing now is air sealing the attic floor. Now, before we come up into the attic, the first thing that we draw is a map from below of all the air leaks. So we know we're looking for top plates like this, wire holes, these come up from switches. Uh, there's a void right here. I don't know if you can see. This is for a stairwell that goes down to the basement. So we had to put foam board over top of this and then we're gonna seal around it with foam. Once we have the map created, we come up into the attic space and seal all of these things. Wire holes, both sides of the top plate. We pull the insulation back as needed and hit all these things like this. Now this is a, a critical thing to do. It's gonna save energy. It's gonna make the house much more comfortable. And it's also going to reduce the amount of moisture that can escape up into the house or up into the attic from the house below. Because if you don't air seal an attic and all that you do is insulate it, you're going to make the attic colder, which makes the roof deck colder. And the air that continues to escape up from the house it's gonna bring moisture with it, condense on the underside of the roof, and the next thing you know, you'll have a mold problem. We just finished doing all the work scopes in this homeowner's home, and now we're going to do our final blower door test out and see how much we've reduced air infiltration in the house by. Okay, so our original testing number was 1100 CFM. Now we're down to less than 700. So we've reduced air infiltration in this house by 35 to 40 percent. That's a huge number. That's going to make this home much more energy efficient and comfortable year round. And if you found this video helpful, please click the like and subscribe button. And if you live in the Pittsburgh area and would like to have InsulWise come out and take a look at your house, please give us a call. Thank you.